Hey, what's up guys? Flickfy here with episode number 10 of Youth Squad Stars of Sabado. We're going to start the episode off by getting our last month done in New Zealand and then moving on to a new country. But if you guys can continue to show your support on this series by leaving a like down below, that will help support the channel and help support this series. I received quite a few comments lately that you guys want to see these episodes more often. I'm going to do my best as long as you guys are receptive to the videos as well. Uh, so our first match today will be in the league and of course we are bringing out our usual starting 11 and they're going to get the first opportunity in the game they're actually going to hit the post very close opportunity and nice bit of passing by this team to create some chances but we are going to clear this one out and they go well wide of the target there that really should have been a tap in but here in the 49th minutes michael mccarty getting through on goal he's going to play a great through ball that ran on brassen but what a save there from roberto and uh we really do uh, managed to keep the pressure up, but they were making pretty good shots, and Chom was having to make some great saves. And here, Wanto is going to find it to Moyana. He is going to be looking to play it back, but we take the ball right away, and we're on the counterattack just like that. And it's Michael McCarty leading the way on the counterattack, and of course, he's got the pace. He's got great vision to find the pass. Miguel Camara just has to finish it, and he hits the post. I think he did that a couple episodes ago, and it's kind of a curse for him. I mean, he gets those in those opportunities and in the right position, but he just can't seem to finish. But we're gonna move right on to the next match against Barcelona B after that draw, which was a little bit disappointing. I thought we could have gotten the win, but that's the starting lineup we're gonna go out with in this match. And there's the league table. Right now we're sitting at 55 points, which is not too bad. Uh, we could get a couple of good results and that would definitely help out our chances if we do want to finish first in the league. But I think the first or second place position would be just as nice. But they're a pretty good shot from our right back. Keeper had to make a pretty solid save to keep that one from going in. But we're going to continue the pressure here. Paco Candela finding Michael McCarty and he's looking to make some nice moves. And he does manage to make some nice moves and puts it by the keeper. Didn't even move an inch. And that just goes to show why Michael McCarty is probably our best player on this team. Uh, he just gets in the right position, and he just scores goals, and he actually just managed to reach the potential to be something special status, which is just absolutely fantastic. I'm so excited that one of our players has managed to reach that point. Might be a couple years till he reaches that point, but I am fully confident that he will get to that point in a few years' time. But there, Marvin trying to get a free kick goal, but he does get denied by the crossbar. And we're going to move all the way to the 61st minutes. Miguel Camara applying the pressure and managing to break away. Of course, you see Michael McCarty on the far side, and we're going to get the easy tap-in goal and get his brace in the match. 62 minutes into the game, we were coasting against Barcelona B. We were looking to get one more goal before the match was over, though, and it's Ulisse in the 90th minute getting a shot, and again, Anodua making a good save right there. The match ends at a 2-0 victory, so three more points in the league, and that means we are that much closer to catching up to the first place position. But here, we're going to have a look at our youth academy. Haven't managed to sign any of our 16-year-olds quite yet. And uh, I think I will be doing that here in a couple episodes time just because really um, I, I'm not a big fan of the post May updates just because they don't grow in pace, which I rely on quite a bit, especially for the attacker positions. The CM positions, I might let them stay until post May so they can get the nice upgrade and they can increase in their technical attributes. But our final match of the episode will be again in the league. I don't know if we have any cup matches left in the rest of this season. I don't believe we do, uh, but we're going to continue straight on here on the counterattack. Yvonne Cham with a nice distribution to McCarty, and he just blows right by the defense and just has to finish it now, and he does manage to slip it right under the keeper. So a great start for us, and we were up 1-0, 12 minutes into the game, uh, but they were going to get an opportunity later on, and it's Akano going to play it inside, but Chom making another good save, and our defense was able to back him up. But Kleber looking to start the counterattack, and it's Melgal Kamara, who's got the pace. He's going to fight Pocket and Candela, plays it through to Michael McCarty, and he's just got to finish it, and we get two goals within 24 minutes. And, man, our team is just working so well together. They just seem to know where the rest of their teammates are. And here again, this one's going to be played through the Miguel Camara. Nice fake shot to create some space. Just has to finish, but I believe that did get slightly deflected by the keeper and it went out for a corner kick. They're going to get an opportunity here, a little bit of a confusion between the defender and Ivan Chom that led to an open net and an easy tap-in for them. Cutting the deficit in half just before halftime. 
Uh, but right after kickoff, we're going to do a bit of a run from Miguel Karma, showing how fast he really is. Not sure what kind of defending that's supposed to be, but we get the goal right back. <laughs> and I do those quite often with Miguel Karma. He's just so quick, and uh, they're just not able to catch up with him. So we had a nice 3-1 cushion. Going into halftime, we were looking to make it 4-1 with Michael McCarty here, but he's going to be denied by the post, and it goes out of play. But we get one more opportunity here right at the end. It's going to be Miguel Cromer one more time, and it is, again, saved and cleared out by the defense. So a nice victory, 3-1, and we're going to pick up three more points in the episode. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today. If you did, do me a favor, drop a like down below, leave a comment for me to respond to, and until next time, this has been FlickFi. I'll be talking to you all again soon.